What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Liza Minnelli, and more from her 1989 album, Results, produced by the Pet Shop Boys. And the next tune is If There Was Love. The way the phrase sounds is that perhaps there's an absence or a dearth of love, and in that context, someone is speculating what the presence of it might mean or what it might change. So uh, it could be part of a larger phrase that's running in a different direction, but just on the surface, that's what my brain thinks of it, that um, it perhaps uh, relates to someone considering how love could change a current dynamic. So let's find out what it actually is. This is Liza Minnelli from her album 1989 Results, and the tune is If There Was Love. And once again, this record is produced by the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> Oh, 
I said very dramatic very cinematic even from the very beginning there was the like background I at first I thought it was like a cosmonaut like um, you know radio transmission or something and then I th thought it was maybe from a movie but like a foreign film like you know non-english film but I wasn't quite sure because it was sort of you know the other sonics were significant enough that it was like I was just you know on the edge of actually being able to hear what the spoken word part was but then she eventually went into a spoken word part in the the latter part of the tune which felt like equal part like prayer like but it felt like it was you know adapted to the the context of you know what she was already singing about more than like actually quoting from a prayer but it also felt uh like shakespearean it had that sort of you know like classic lyrical verse sound to it but all delivered with a sort of understated spoken delivery uh so yeah i enjoyed that it wasn't you know i didn't know where the tune was going it was definitely like a unfolding in multiple acts type of track which you know given what people have said um and the the dramatic theatrical feel of the the first few tunes um i suppose it's very much you know in the the central lane of what this album is so looking forward to more tunes it's funny because it's like you could you know when one of these tunes starts you could just hear Neil's voice about to come in but obviously it's you know it's different so I'm enjoying hearing um, their Sonics the Pet Shop Boys uh, with a very different voice and one that seems you know particularly suited to a heightened dramatic type of singing so yeah uh, another cool one again the synth bass in their tunes always does stand out to me um, I enjoyed that, again, I think, like, synth saxophone. It felt like there was, like, a synth harmonica in it earlier. Maybe that was the same thing, and it just evolved into a, like, fuller version of the sound as it went along. But, um, again, I enjoyed the, the unpacking of the sonics. And, obviously, there was that crazy part in the middle, like, or maybe it was made about 60, 65% in, but <clears throat> where it sort of stripped down significantly and I you know I didn't think it was going to end I did think it was going to roll back in which it did um but yeah in that moment I had no idea what was going to happen next it was a really um like exciting tune in terms of sometimes I get a sense for what a tune's about to do but in this case I, I had no idea what what came next even if I had a sense that it wasn't over so um yeah like I said looking forward to the rest of this album again I'll try to do this in tandem with the um songs from behavior but uh, it just so happened that I couldn't get them both in in the previous session. But generally speaking, I'm going to try to do them in tandem. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs> 